Gregor. Nice to meet you. I am Teacher Stuka. And today I'm going to tell you about your uh, independent and integrated writing essays from TOEFL. Let me share my screen so that you can see whatever I'm going to tell you right now. Check it out, dude. Um, first of all, um, you have a big and broad vocabulary and this is great for TOEFL because TOEFL is always in love with someone who is capable of writing different words and expressions and there is something that TOEFL loves which is transition words and you use that a, a, a lot you know things for for example first of all secondly finally this is great so for the next um, compositions you write for me, my suggestion for you is to keep on using them because this is great and Tufa loves it. Very good. So let's check on your first, um, your first essay. The lecture clearly establishes, okay, so establishes because it's third person, an opposite approach, not a positive, opposite approach regarding points presented at the reading passage by presenting more orthodox there was a problem with h was missing here view of the eventual on the eventual outcomes of the participation of a professor in on television shows it's not so common to use television programs you know it's more common to use television shows now why should we use in or on generally when we're talking about a screen the screen of the television the screen of the computer or the surface of a piece of paper, it's more common to use on, you know? So that's why we say, I saw this on TV. But as you were talking about television show, you can also use in. Where did you read about that? Oh, I read that on a book, on a book, because it's the surface of a paper. And on, we commonly use for surfaces. And that's why this is indicated on. Let's first talk about your text, your composition, and after, I'm going to show you a little about the structure required by TOEFL. First paragraph, no mistake, and don't worry about first of all, because you see that word is suggesting something here like, change this expression, just send word to hell, because they're completely wrong, TOEFL loves it. Finally, the lecture posits that after dinner, reviewers not great to benefit from professor statement on television. Same thing I told you, because we're talking about a surface, and that's why we use on and not at. At is not so commonly used. Now, I have the, first of all, I have the, um, the passage here, but I'd like to show you something before I talk about the passage. Hang on a second, hang on a second. There we are. Oh, yes, the writing section. TOEFL, every time we're going to write something on TOEFL, TOEFL has a structure they suggest us, you know, and this is the recipe of success. And TOEFL requires us to write this structure when we're doing the integrated writing essay, which is the one we listen to something, we read something, listen to something, and we have 20 minutes to write it. What is it? The first paragraph, you're gonna to have to address the main topic of both the passage and the lecture, the idea of the passage, the idea of the lecture, and how they are related to each other. So for instance, I'm gonna write here an introduction for, um, for this composition you just did. For example, I always do this. This is my recipe for always writing a TOEFL essay in integrated. I always do this, both the passage and the lecture deal with professors on television shows. There you are, I just addressed the main topic from the passage and the lecture. Now, what's the main idea of the passage? According to the author of the passage, this is uh, a positive, oh, sorry, positive thing. On the other hand, the professor from the lecture believes uh, negative points stand out, for example. So check this out, dude. Both the passage and the lecture deal with professor on television shows. 
this is already the main topic of the passage in the lecture. You know, you don't have necessarily to do like this, okay? According to the author of the passage, this is a positive thing. This is the main idea of the passage. The passage defends this. The professor from the lecture believes negative points, negative points stand out. This is the position of the lecture. And how do, you, do they relate with each other? They related to each other, sorry, in an opposition manner. And this is an important information you need to know about them, the integrated. They're always going to oppose each other. Two or three years ago, TOEFL had other kinds of integrated writing essays, but nowadays, no. They're always going to oppose the, um, each other, you know? And on the other hand is an expression that shows that they're one against the other. This is generally, generally the way I write integrated, not generally, always, I always write, I always write integrated writing passages like this. Both the passage and the lecture deal with PDD. The passage believes PDD, but the lecture says PDD. It's always like this, always like this. Now, this is very important for you to know for your, um, for your task in TOEFL. Regarding the three other paragraphs you are going to have to talk to, you are going to have to talk about the passage and the lecture given supporting information. Okay, so it's important that you have to talk about both. And what happened here? Oh my God, what happened here? You just talk about the lecture. And this is a problem, my friend. This is a problem because they're gonna ask you what related to what, you know? So if you take the first argument you used here, the lecture states that when joining TV events, professors are away from tests that will bring them more reputation, such as taking part on a senior discussion with peers. And what does the passage say? Professors benefit from appearing on television because by doing so, acquire reputation as authorities in their academic field. So you see, you have to take the argument from the passage that is okay. Uh, you have to take the argument from the lecture that is against which um, uh, which argument from the passage, and you have to put them together. You know, so you can say something like this. First of all, according to the passage, and it's always good to quote where the information came from. What decided? According to the passage, whenever a professor um, pops up is too informal, uh, appears on TV, they are seen as authorities in the field by others. Da, 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 da. That's it. That's all. You know, you can't speak too much. Well, you probably could speak a little bit, but I'm not going to write a little more because um, it's good for you to, to address a little more the argument. So, professor, da, 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 da. okay because people out of the university have access to um, his or her papers. Uh, no, uh, not papers, because they don't talk about papers, ideas, okay. So this is the first thing. You have to talk about the passage and you have to talk about the lecture. Now, it's a good thing for you to um, use I am um, tra um, transition words that show they are they have contrastant ideas. Um, on the other hand, I already used uh, in turn. The lecture states that so you have to do this to all three paragraphs. You know, you gotta say what the passage stated and against what the lecture argued. So this is the integrated writing essay. This is what you are going to have to do. Um, this is the structure. You know, I'm, I'm going to send you this video. So if you want to check the structure, you can pause the video here to check it. There you are. So <laughs> this is integrated writing. And now we're going to go to the independent writing. The independent writing, I want to make two comments about the text and the other comments I'm going to make about the structure. First of all, it is indeed very good for you to um, paraphrase the prompt. 
Um, I don't remember exactly this prompt, exactly what it is, but I remember it's something related to what you said, and this is very good. Paraphrase the prompt in the introduction. Now, what does TOEFL want you to do? TOEFL wants you to defend three arguments. TOEFL is a pervert in three arguments. So this is the structure they are going to require you to do. So you're going to have to defend three key points you are going to develop yourself. You're going to create these three key points and you're going to defend them in three different paragraphs. An important information is that both in the independent and in the integrated, <coughs> sorry, the conclusion is not mandatory. I have already seen um, very well evaluated essays, compositions, that had no conclusion. In fact, Jude, my last TOEFL, I didn't conclude any, 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 any of my essays. And check it out. Uh, <clears throat> let me see if I can find it here. There it is. This is my TOEFL from 2019 this year. I took it um, in April. And I didn't conclude anything, you know, in my, in my independent and in, in integrated. I just wrote away the arguments from the integrated and I created my arguments and I wrote about them in the, in the independent. When you finish your TOEFL, you're going to receive, uh, look, he mean it would need to, uh, you're going to receive uh, your scores like this. And in the writing, I took 28 because my arguments were considered not so good for the evaluator. I hope he dies a painful death. Uh, so you can see that in the writing, uh, I took 28, you know? So I took 28 because, uh, and I didn't conclude, dude. It was not the problem. The problem was in my independent writing. I know what, what was the problem, but integrated, I aced integrated, mom is very proud, and uh, in the independent and in integrated, you don't have to conclude. Now, let me show you one thing about your structure here. Where is it? There we are. You wrote about an argument and you defended it until the end. You know, in TOEFL, this is not what they want you to do. Okay, they want you to create three arguments and give support about them. If you ask me, is it true that they want you to give three your arguments? And unfortunately, as long as I know, I have never seen a good evaluated essay by TOEFL with just one argument. So unfortunately, that's the structure they require you to do. Okay? Now, both of them improve the young. Children. Furthermore, very good. Use this because TOEFL is a pervert about transition words and they love it. Uh, may steer the young adult in one or another path. Um, there was just T H E R here. And I put another because path is singular, another is singular, so you put them together. Now, probably, probably you already know this, but I just, I just wrote this number one here to give you some ideas about this thing here because this is an exception of the rule of A and N. We have a general rule and we have exceptions. A in the general rule is before consonant sounds, okay? But we have some exceptions. And N is before vowel sounds, okay? It's not that we have exceptions. We don't have exceptions to this rule. It's just that we have some cases that we generally, it's kind of complicated for us. For example, we say a unique. Why do you say a uh, unique, uh, a university? And in the case of the text, a uh, young adult. Why do we say this? Because a uh, unique, a uh, university, a uh, young adult. And this sound is a Y in English, okay? University, young, unique. And Y is consonant? So we say a uh, and not n. Okay, and in the case of N, are the words that we, they start with consonant, but we use N anyway. For example, N, honest men. The H is mute, so we pronounce that um, N honest, okay? Probably you already know that, no problem. Eager to prove capable of time home, may prefer to leave. I put two here, there was no two, and you could say, I prefer prefer to leave 
or I prefer leaving. Prefer is a case in which both situations are correct. Now, I'd like you to answer me by WhatsApp, or you can do that um, in, any, in any other form, but preferably by WhatsApp because I can access more quickly. We have cases like this that we call, I call verb to verb, and we have cases like this that we call verb, verb ing. And if you don't know about this, please tell me on WhatsApp. When do we use verb to verb? When do we use verb, verb ing? And when we use the, the verb, verb case, you know, because this is freaking important. We have rules for this. It's not so difficult. And after I studied these grammar rules, my head was like, because I couldn't understand why we use one, why we use the, not the other, and etc. Okay. Uh, and this parents here, as parents is a plural noun, you don't need the apostrophe S, you just use the apostrophe. You use parents before correctly. I don't remember where. Before or after, you wrote some somewhere around here correctly. So probably it was just, you know, a little problem. Now, TOEFL is different from IELTS. IELTS will evaluate you um, mistake by mistake. They're going to take off points from you. In TOEFL, no. They're going to evaluate all your exam, you know, all your ideas and give you an evaluation, you know. So um, if you can write a very good essay, although you might have problems like this or like this, um, you can have a very good grade, okay? So these are the integrated and independent. And if you have any questions and you want to ask me later on WhatsApp or, um, I don't know, write in any other way or call me, I don't know, it's better to, just to send me a message on WhatsApp, okay? And 